Hey guys, whatever is up. So today let's talk about Itzy losing popularity. As many people are claiming, Itzy has lost their popularity, so let's simply discuss it. Itzy was doing really well since their debut. They became the monster rookies as many netizens were impressed by the dance skills of the members and their debut song Dala Dala is the song with the highest digital score of 2019 among cable gear groups. Itzy used to to grab all the awards on the show. They used to, but now it's pretty much nothing. I mean, Itzy's Korean releases this year were really not it. Sneakers really sounds like a song for Disney or Kids Pop. The same goes to Boys Like You. Releasing sneakers and Boys Like You after Loco or Mafia in the Morning was a huge fell off and many fans have voiced their disappointment because of this. I mean, you release Loco and then Sneakers? Like, come on, man. Now, every time someone makes a video of the worst songs that were released this year, they almost always include sneakers and boys like you. The change of concept was really drastic and surprising as Itzy was mostly going with concepts similar to Gear Crush. Meanwhile, sneakers and boys like you are more bubbly songs that sound like they were made for children. Sneakers was a huge mistake. This song would have been great right? as a b-side but not a title track. Everything about it was so messy. First everyone was really hyped up because it was supposed to be a royal concept so people were expecting a song that's more like Gear Crush but then they dropped the track list and completely different promotional photos. I still remember how many Itzy fans have been in denial making up theories that the real track list will be revealed later and how they were hoping it was just a joke. I've always said that and I'll keep on repeating that. JYP really missed a good opportunity to give Itzy an amazing comeback with Royal Concept. Now let's talk about their English song Boys Like You. What in the Taylor Swift has happened here? I didn't listen to the song. I've heard most of it on TikTok and honestly the lyrics are kind of cringy. Boy I'm so pissed, boy you are dismissed, or you made your bed so you gotta lay. Like whoever wrote those lyrics, jail. After Boys Like You was released, reactions were very, very mixed. Others said that they liked the song, but it reminded them of Taylor Swift. Meanwhile, others weren't so nice and completely went off on JYP and Itzy, wanting a completely different concept. In South Korea, it seems like they loved sneakers as there's multiple videos where you can hear Koreans singing along with Itzy. Meanwhile, most of the international fans simply don't like the song. After sneakers was released, after sneakers was released, I've seen so many tweets or comments on different social media Media that sneakers made them unstand Itzy. However, is Itzy's popularity really going downhill? Well, I personally don't really think so. If Itzy is going to release another song that's going to be more like Gear Crush, I believe their popularity will be back. From what I've seen, Itzy is preparing for their newest comeback. Comparing to their latest teasers, I don't really see a lot of fans talking about the comeback. When I saw someone talking about Itzy's newest comeback, it was something like, I hope we aren't getting fooled again. And I really do hope that JYP learned his lesson and isn't going to do the same they have done with Checkmate and Sneakers. The concept of the album, the title track, completely didn't match at all. Yes, Itzy lost some fans because of Boys Like You and Sneakers, but they're able to gain even more fans if they release something that isn't for little kids. However, that's not the only reason why people are blaming Itzy's decreasing popularity. Some are simply blaming the members, which isn't really something new. Yuna recently has received a lot of harsh comments regarding her behavior where many have called her a pick-me for singing Love Dive, falling down the chair and many other things. They have also made fun of her for wearing hip pads that were very visible. Others are blaming the main dancer, Cheryong, obviously for her visuals, which isn't something new, as she's been bashed for her visuals since her debut, even though she looks gorgeous. Meanwhile, others are blaming Leah for being, as they say, a weak 
vocalist and have made fun of her vocals after Leah's cover of Taylor Swift songs went viral on social media. But let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on. That is it. Bye!